In this lesson, I'm going to go over dividing fractions. Now, the good news is, if you can multiply fractions, then you already know how to divide them. First, however, I want to review two important ways to show division. Fractions are actually a form of division, and you can switch between these two formats using either the division symbol or fractions. In the first example, we start with the division symbol, 2 divided by 7, and we switch to fraction form 2 over 7. Now in the bottom example, we're switching from fraction form 5 over 3 fourths back to division using the division symbol, 5 divided by 3 fourths. Note that the number after the division symbol becomes the denominator in fraction form. So 7 in the top example becomes the denominator, and 3 fourths in the bottom example is the denominator. Now I want to draw your attention to the second example and give you a word of caution. It would seem that there are two ways to interpret 5 over 3 over 4. We could read it as 5 divided by 3 fourths, or we could read it as 5 thirds divided by 4. Each will give a different answer, but only one way is correct. If you look carefully, one of the fraction bars is wider than the other. The wider bar separates the numerator from the denominator. Here, the wider bar is between the 5 and the 3. That means the numerator is just 5, and we're going to divide 5 by the denominator, which is 3 fourths. So it's 5 divided by 3 fourths. <clears throat> now let's talk about how we actually divide fractions. To divide fractions, we flip the denominator and then multiply the resulting fractions. So in this example, we're dividing 2 fifths by 3 fourths. The denominator is 3 fourths. So we're going to flip 3 fourths and we're going to change to multiplication. So if you look here, we had division by 3 fourths that changed to multiplication by 4 thirds. By the way, when you flip a fraction, you're really just writing what we call the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 3 fourths is 4 thirds, the reciprocal of 4 thirds is 3 fourths. Anyway, now that we have switched to multiplication, from here you should know what to do. If you look, we've got 2 fifths times 4 thirds. I don't see any common factors between the top and bottom to simplify, so we're just going to multiply across the top and bottom. The answer is 8 fifteenths. Now I would like you to try the next problem on your own. See if you can tackle this division problem. Doing so will require most of the skills we've learned in the fraction section so far. So please pause the video now. Okay, well, welcome back. Hopefully you were able to complete the problem and got 4 sevenths as your answer. So let's go through it step by step. We're going to first rewrite the fraction using the division symbol. Now some people like to skip this step and go right to the flipping and multiplication, but if you have a trouble with this, just start with this uh, step. I then flip the denominator and change to multiplication. So again, the denominator is 7 tenths, and so I flip that to 10 sevenths, and I change the multiplication. Now, I could just multiply across 2 times 10 over 5 times 7, but I see that there is a GCF of 5 between 10 and 5. So I'm going to divide 10 and 5 by 5, and that's going to simplify to 2 over 1. Now we can multiply across 2 times 2 and 1 times 7, and we're going to get 4 sevenths.